I heard from Canara Bank about selling stake uh, in Care Ratings. Uh, now we understand Crystal has bought it, which is interesting. One rating agency buying stake in other rating agency. Uh, uh, Nimesh uh, has tracked that deal. Uh, Nimesh, uh, what could be the objective? Hi, Anuj. So, you know, while this is an official comment uh, coming in from Crystal that they've bought 9% stake in Care uh, in, a, in a block deal. What is interesting is it's a rival, as you rightly pointed out, you know, rival buying out 9% in, in, in another rating agency. And not only that, they've paid a 20% premium buying this 9% stake from Canara Bank via block deal today. So, that's also, you know, catching eye of, of many of the investors to what made them buy. A, a rival, uh, you know, entity at a 20% premium. Well, officially, uh, the, there, there is a press release from Crystal which says that there are no specific rights. Uh, you know, there is no specific right uh, in terms of buying this 9%. It's it's more of a corporate strategy and nothing uh, nothing more than that. And they and they keep evaluating investment opportunities into into various companies. So officially, that's 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 what the the, the, the statement is coming from Crystal. But I'm sure there are the, you know there is a game plan to why Crystal has bought 9% in in care today. If you look at care, uh, there are no promoters as such. It is largely owned by institutions. Canara Bank, which was a, which was a seller of late, they they completely sold out today by selling nine percent. If you look at the other large shareholders, LIC holds nine percent stake. Mutual funds hold eighteen percent, and FIS put together hold thirty-seven percent stake. So it's largely institution hold. But you know there are interesting uh, some of the non-core holders as well. Like if you look at Bajaj Holding, that holds for two percent stake. It's a it's a kind of a non-core investment for them. HDFC uh, Standard Life holds one percent. Tata Group between Tata Steel and Tata Investment Corp, they hold close to two percent. So there are some non uh, you know strategic investors who are holding stake in care, which might be potential sellers if Crystal wants to wants to you know buy out uh, you know those kind of investors going forward. So. It will be interesting whether this is a, indeed a takeover, part of a takeover deal from Crystal. As things stand, officially they have said it's just a strategic move, fits into the compliance and, and, and they're looking at an investment opportunity. But it looks like there is something more than what meet the eyes at this point in time. So, need to see as to how things get panned out going forward. But what is interesting is a, a rival company buying 9% at a 20% premium from the open market. And the fact that there are no promoter holders, uh, only institutions hold. There is a possibility if they want to increase the stake going forward, uh, you know, Crystal can easily walk into, say, LIC holding 9% or some of the funds like Tata's and Bajaj and buy them out.